The 2019 summit between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and US President Donald Trump has broken down in Hanoi, Vietnam, after the US President refused to lift all sanctions on North Korea. He stated, It was all about the sanctions. They wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. Sometimes you have to walk, and this was one of those times. Regarding Otto Warmbier, the 22-year-old American student who died from extensive injuries shortly after he was released from North Korean detention in 2017, Mr. Trump said, I don't believe that Mr. Kim would have allowed that to happen. It just wasn't to his advantage to allow that to happen. Those prisons are rough. They're rough places, and bad things happen. But I really don't believe that he was. I don't believe he knew about it. He felt badly about it. He knew the case very well, but he knew it later. And you know, you've got a lot of people. Big country. A lot of people. And in those prisons and those camps, you have a lot of people. And some really bad things happened to Otto. Some really, really bad things. But he tells me that he didn't know about it, and I will take him at his word. For the first time in his reign, Mr. Kim actually answered a question from a foreign reporter. Washington Post's David Nakamura asked Kim if he was confident, feeling good about a deal, just before he and President Trump entered their closed-door negotiations. Mr. Kim turned to his interpreter and responded, It's too early to tell. I won't prejudge. From what I feel right now, I do have a feeling that good results will come. Oh well, he was wrong. But if anything, he gets his face plastered all over the international media, he shows his people that he is an international statesman, and that he can now hold his own alongside the international heavyweights. Regarding denuclearization, Mr. Kim made a significant offer to dismantle all of the Yongbyon complex, the research and production facility at the heart of North Korea's nuclear program. But in return, he wanted all sanctions on North Korea lifted, something that the US was just not prepared to offer. Mr. Trump suggested that Mr. Kim had offered only the destruction of Yongbyon and not North Korea's entire nuclear apparatus. It is thought that Mr. Kim views denuclearization as a mutual arrangement in which the US should withdraw its military from the Korean Peninsula. North Korea's foreign minister later said that Pyongyang had been seeking partial sanctions relief, not a complete lifting, and that the North had offered to permanently stop nuclear and long-range rocket testing. Mr. Trump, when asked what he meant by denuclearization, said, To me it's pretty obvious. We have to get rid of the nukes. Just one last thing. Mr. Kim chose to take a 60-hour train trip over a three or four-hour plane ride. Why did he do that? Experts believe that it is partially due to tradition. His grandfather and founder of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, travelled by train for his visits to Vietnam in 1958 and 1964. Also by passing through China, the trip is also viewed as a way for North Korea to boast its close ties to its biggest ally. And lastly, the armoured train is thought to be a safer choice for Kim, as North Korea's state jet, Chum Mai-1, is old and there is a lack of experienced pilots. And there you go, that's what happened in the 2019 North Korea-United States Hanoi Summit in Vietnam. Let me know what you think below. Cheers!